Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is the main video. This is the quadratic formula. This is a big deal, guys. This is the lesson where we learn this really important formula that's gonna help us find the solutions to a quadratic equation. Now, so far at this point, you have solved quadratic equations by factoring. You've graphed them and found where the roots were. You've also probably learned how to complete the square. So now the quadratic formula, it's the fourth strategy for solving a polynomial equation, a quadratic equation, and it's probably one of the best strategies because it works no matter what. Sometimes it's a little bit of work for a really tiny equation, and sometimes for the really complicated equations, it's the best possible thing we can do by simply plugging our values into this equation that we're gonna take a look at right now. Um, I think that it's really, really important for you to make sure that you have a pencil and paper or you have a whiteboard or dry erase board ready to go to do these problems along with me. So you get the practice plugging values into the formula and then you're able to do it for any other problems that you may have. You may have two solutions, one solution, or sometimes no solutions at all. So let's take a look together. Here is the formula. It's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. A mouthful, right? You can remember this formula by seeing it along to Pop Goes the Weasel, and you'll have to excuse my voice. But ready? It's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I know, it's corny, but let me sing it for you one more time and follow along with the formula, ready? And the faster you learn this formula to that song, the faster it's gonna be burned into your head and you're never going to forget it. Ready? X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. All right, let's actually use this formula now and see where it takes us. So I'm gonna leave that formula up there at the top. Don't forget it, we're gonna plug it in. Here's our first equation, x squared plus four x plus three equals zero. The equation's already set equal to zero, which is perfect, so I can clearly see my a, b, and c values. First off, I wanna see that my a value is one. Remember the a value is the number in front of your x squared. Your b is your number in front of your x, so here my b is four, and my c is three. So ready? We're gonna plug these three numbers into this formula. As long as we're careful, is really easy to do. So it's x equals negative b, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so it's 4 squared, minus 4a, which is 1, c, which is 3, all over 2 times a, which is 1. Okay, so now let's clean this up. Ready? So this becomes negative 4, plus or minus the square root, four squared is 16. Negative four times one times three is negative 12. All over two times a, two times one, which is just two. What are you doing? I'm recording. I told you to stay and watch Sonic. Can you go back up and watch one more for me? That's okay, can you watch? No, just go upstairs, watch one more Sonic, and then come back down for tablet, tap a little, okay, baby, please? No, no, I don't want you to do both. Watch one more Sonic, okay? Thank you, Nathan. No, Nathan, that's fine, baby, thank you. Okay, so now we have negative four plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 12 all over two. Let's go a step further. This really now becomes negative four plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 12 is four over two. We can simplify it even further here, guys. Negative four plus or minus the square root of four is two. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to get our two solutions. We use the plus sign to get our first solution and we use the minus sign to get our second solution. So let's take a look. Negative four plus two is negative two. Negative two divided by two is negative one. Let me go back again. Negative four plus two. So we use the plus sign, we add these numbers to get negative two. We take that answer divided by two and we get negative one. 
Now we're going to use the minus sign to get our second solution. Negative 4 minus 2. So negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And these would be our solutions. Now, we took this polynomial equation and we used the quadratic formula and we were able to get our two solutions. But let's not forget, we also can solve a polynomial equation by factoring. And this one actually can get factored beautifully. What factors multiply to get 3 and add up to get 4? A positive 1 and a positive 3. So remember factoring, we could have factored this trinomial, this polynomial equation, and then we remember if we set the each factor equal to 0, x plus 1 equals 0, we would get negative 1. x plus 3 equals 0, we would get negative 3. Now you may say to me, you know, Mrs. Yakuba, why would I go through the whole quadratic formula if I could just factor? Well, the beauty is you can do either method. And sometimes problems can't be factored out really nicely, and we get these kind of decimal or fraction answers. Factoring may not help us get that to that, but the quadratic formula will work every time. Let's take a look at another one. So 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 equals 0. This equation's already set equal to 0. Beautiful. I don't need to rearrange a thing. I can see my a is 2, my b is negative 7, and my c is 3. So let's go ahead and plug this right in. Ready? It's x equals negative b. Now notice, the formula is negative b, and my b value here is negative 7. So I have to write it as negative negative 7, which we know is going to become positive 7 in a moment, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 7 squared. Guys, always put your negatives in parentheses. Okay, always, always. Minus 4ac. So 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 3. All over 2a. So 2 times my a value of 2. So ready? Let's clean this up the best we can. Negative negative 7 becomes positive 7, plus or minus the square root. Negative 7 squared. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Then I multiply these three numbers together. Negative 4 times 2 times 3 is negative 24, all over 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, let's clean it up further. This becomes 7 plus or minus the square root. 49 minus 24 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So this becomes 7 plus 5. Sorry, 7 plus or minus 5 over 4. And I use the plus sign to get my first solution, minus sign to get my second. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Second solution. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 divided by 4 is a half. And those are my solutions, 3 and 1 half. Now, we learned how to factor a trinomial in this form as well. You'd have to do 2 times 3 is 6 break apart the negative 7x and get it all factored out. And I'm going to kind of skip all those steps for right now, how to factor that. But if we did, this is what it would end up looking like in factored form. 2x minus 1 and then x minus 3. If I set this equal to 0, guess what? My solution is going to be 1 half. If I set x minus 3 equal to 0, my solution would be 3. And that's how we use our quadratic formula. And we're going to see factoring gets us the exact same result. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.